Weirdly, the physics seems to be pushing it to the front of the truck now, which is a lot better. I'll start recording again next week, Costa. Uh, Santa goes to Heron Gera from Eastern Canada. There we go. He's a hero. <laughs> oh my god. It's just fallen out, this bead that I'm putting it in. I'm determined to get all of this, but it's not going to happen. I figure if I move the truck, it normally settles down a little bit. Oh my god. Right, let's get in the truck and just move it. Oh jeez. Oh, jeez. This is... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Let me get on the flat bit, maybe. Oh, what? Come on. It's literally throwing them out the truck. This is absurd. I'm going to try and take that to... Oh, God. Everything... <laughs> I'm going to try and take that down to the, my brother and see if he'll buy it before it all comes off the back. I can see why my brother doesn't like collecting firewood. He knows what the truck physics are like. See, funnily enough, when you move it, it actually settles down. It's only when it's sat there that it freaks out. You can see it in the mirror. Luckily, I don't have far to drive. Cool for me, thanks for th three years. Happy anniversary. I'm going to try and drag the trailer over the green thing. Oh, look, he's gone through that firewood. She works. Look at that. We got paid one hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Is that? Oh, that's a log. That's why I didn't take it. Well, that's one lot.
Every time I look down to get on my seat, there's like a tool that's just moved there. See if we can get the rest of it. Is the damage model. I'm not sure. I don't think so. in the back. Might as well leave the log split here for now. Yeah, I think that sign says 70Ks. Can't watch any more of the chainsaws making you nervous. <laughs> I can't lose a leg if I don't have any legs, right? Um, Fritarian, they've not really, they're not fleshed out the characters properly yet. Like, if you look at them, they don't really have any faces, and the dialogue is fairly basic. And I don't think they react to what you do, so it's a little bit like on rails at the moment in terms of the plot. It's a bit too early days for that, yeah. Right, to sell this, go into town and try and buy some maple syrup, um, the pipes and the uh, tap hose things. Try and get something going. Maybe we need to buy a tank as well. I don't know. I 
That's interesting. Why didn't they go? It's full. It, there is a limit. There is a limit to how much you'll take. The daily limit. I'm going to leave the rest right here. And I bet you he doesn't touch them. How much did I get for that? We're on 700 now. We must have got about 100 and something. find some uh, the shop to get some fuel as well. Uh, Newty, thank you for 77 months. Thank you very much. I need a fifth gear, that's what I need. You need a top gear, yeah. I need a new top gear. That's about half a tank coming to, what, $30? It's about $60 per full tank then. Jeez, man. Do I need anything from here, apart from talk to the guys, I guess? Keep that friendship going. Oh, he's got more rust repair kits. Don't think it's worth it yet, though. Car looks okay. I'll grab a maple syrup. While it's afternoon, we'll go and grab some poutine as well. And then we don't eat into the stock we have. Where's the shop gone? Wait, was he gone? Attention, no children. It is a something... Oh, what does the Votre mean now? It is a something... I don't know, what does it mean? We'll grab one, get a spare one. Pay attention to our children. Oh, it could be yours. Yeah, that would make sense. Need to keep an eye on those energy levels. Check the mail on the way out. I need to find this building first. Is this it? There it is.
So we need some of them. I don't know how many to get. I mean, they're only $10. Yeah, I think it does trouble. Usually do it in both, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Quebec signs are only in French. Right, what's this? I don't even know a tubing post. Oh, okay. Uh, I see. That lets you join one into another. Oh my God. Jeez, how much was that? 45. We'll get two of them. We'll just try and get a basic thing going first without going fully ham on this. Uh, 120 litre barrel. $200! I'm broke. Yo, man, that reverse osmosis removed half the water. I know, so good. Yeah, okay. Maple syrup crate, maple syrup can. Like, are we supposed to bring the bar just the barrel here for now? Because it says here, place barrel of syrup here. So we just bring a barrel there. Looks like you can buy like one barrel a day. I'm going to buy all these. Yeah, none of the characters have a face at the moment or a voice. It's called Early Access. Can't upgrade any of this. Can't do any of that. Okay, just that, that'll do for now. That's enough money. Who set off the squeaky bike horn? Jamer. Thank you very much, Jamer. Thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. Welcome, guys. If you just got a sub, Jamer is the man to thank. Bookie says you get the empty back. Ah, that's interesting. Um, right, post office then. Need to get back because we're running out of energy. Stop for a coffee, but it's kind of pointless. Yep, there's local radio. trouble is, I don't yet know if it's copyright friendly or not. You left the barrel. Oh, what's that rolling around in the back of my truck then? I'm a bit worried about that post fall now. I don't, it doesn't fit, Chris, it doesn't feel like, given it's an indie developer, I I don't think I would get, you know, copyright issues. But, as an indie developer, if he just bought himself a, a license to use some music in his game, that does not preclude me from needing a license as well to put it on YouTube and Twitch. It's a separate license. That's the way it works. So, unless it's, you know, copyright-free blanket kind of thing, I can't use it. And it's not worth taking the risk until I, until I know, really. Why do I get a feeling I just lost some stuff? I 
definitely just lost two posts. I don't care about the log. I care about the $45 posts that I had. I had three of them. So there are two $45 posts missing right now. No, we only had two, two shoot kits, I think. The question is, where's the post? Two rolls of tube, you had three tube kits. <laughs> oh, this is. I spent a load of money and the stuff has bounced out the back. even see them. Three pounds, three spouts and three tubes. That's that's what I thought it was. I thought it was only two tubes. But I'm missing two posts and all that much. And I cannot see them anywhere. Dark shot as well. Are you sure it's in the corner where I stopped? Because we just drove past that and I didn't see anything. I'm going to die of lack of energy in a minute. They're quite big. You'd think you'd be able to see them, right? Look down the slope 30 meters down. Wh which slope, dude? I think we'll have to drive back and then... He's around here somewhere. Is that about here? I don't see them. Alright, I need to go and sleep. I'm going to die in a second.
Wait, is that one of them? That's the log. At least the log is the marker for where it happened, so we'll go back in a minute and have a look. Must be able to find it. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> Four AM at the Big Brother house. Doing an inventory check here. It's a bit annoying that the big, heavy, chunky pieces of wood are the ones that bounce out. That's half on fuel. Some of some of they saw you driving fast in the village. Are these rumors true, Jason? The complete lies, mother. I would never do such a thing. Why won't you fill that up? Wait, that's empty. Did I not fill it up? What a scumbag. MJ Carr, thank you for 63. I must have totally forgotten to fill that up. There's the log. So where do we think it happened? There's one. One forty-five dollar post found. I must admit. That went quite a way down there. How the heck did that end up here? That's insane. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll just go in neutral backwards. How about that? <laughs> now we should have potato uh, plants that are ready to harvest. Sixty-five percent. Look at them. Sixty-five percent. Hope the female ones. <laughs> right. How do we harvest this thing? Um, you need a harvest basket, right? Okay. We did buy one of those. However, I haven't seen it. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, how do I that's sixty-eight percent. One potato seed left. Plant that. Hmm. I take it I need to just put this straight in the machine then. French fry cutter. Do we just put the basket in there or something? How does it work? Okay, so that's a bit disappointing because we only got one to one from that. Sometimes you can get two, can't you? You're missing the fry basket. I didn't see a fry basket for sale anywhere, did you? Let's go and see if we can set this up somehow. Ricky says you need to be 50% French at the moment to get the fryer basket. Oh, God. How can we not be on 50%? We're 39 of 50. We're well over that. So where do we get it from? I don't know. I've not seen it any. I've not seen it in any shop I've been to. You might have read it wrong. You need a hundred percent. So we can't make poutine until we've got a hundred percent relationship with mother, because somehow she can stop us from buying a frying basket. Run that by me again. So I can't go to the shop to get a fire basket because I'm not a hundred percent with mother. <laughs> no, you may not make protein, son, until I say you can. Sorry, mother. Right, so I'm guessing that's where we can buy some giant plastic tank thing. Generator pump not running. 
home generator not running, zero mail push reconnected, very, very bad. So basically right now we can't use any of this, can we? It was entirely pointless making this thing. Because it's not connected to power. And neither's the house. So all we can really do is grab a load of maple trees. Where's the, where's the highest density of maple trees that we have? Probably over here somewhere. And normally they run them down the slope, so they have a barrel further down, so gravity takes the syrup downwards. There's a load of them over here, look. There's quite quite a high density here. This is where I think we planted some more stuff, isn't it? Yeah, 47%. Look at that. This looks pretty decent. Collect all them into a barrel, I reckon. Let's drive down here. Let's go back. See how this works. Does this have to go in a particular place? Can we rotate it? It doesn't let you rotate it, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, you can actually remove it. That's quite handy. Perfect, too low, perfect. If possible. And how long the piping is. I think maybe we bought too many of these things. You get quite a lot in a box. <laughs> We're collecting maple. Maple syrup. Let's try linking something up because I'm not convinced this is working.
Click on existing tube to remove them. Let's go from there. How does this bit work, eh? How do you connect it to the barrel? That's the question. How's that going to work? It's going to have to go up against gravity. It has to go to the pump. What pump? You can gravity feed this stuff, can't you? It needs to go to the tank next to the shack. Are you serious? We don't have any power, though. We don't have any power at the at the shack and it's way too far away. So where does this go then? I'm not sure we're going to pump things when we don't have any power. Use the generator to power the shack. So we, we can move the generator. Okay, so where do we put the barrel so that it can collect the maple syrup? Does, does the tubing come into here? What goes in there then? Under the tap. What tap? This. The generator powers the house and the shack. Does it really? So somehow this sits down here, does it? I don't have anywhere near as many maple trees over here. Where's the power line link between the shack and here then? can this tube run for? Wow, is that it? That. So to get from here to there, I need a whole load of posts. So that's not happening. shack is in the wrong place. That's the problem. I love how you can't put things back in the box. Look. <laughs> Once you've taken it out of the box, it's staying out of the box. I can't move the shack. Well, this is the thing. I don't think we've got enough trees to do that with. We can see. I think the best thing to do 
is to build from the shack and see how far we get. Rather than try and retrospectively build backwards towards the shack. Also, I think we need to take a load of cuttings from these maple trees and just put as many trees as possible near that shack. It'll be 10 days before they're ready, but it's an investment well worth doing. Where did I leave the... Um, did I leave the pruners in there? If you can, like, plant 10 trees now, in 10 days' time, you'll have 10 more trees. That's a lot more sap constantly coming in. It's like a massive investment. Sort that problem. collision boxes, right. Captain Flint, what, what does it say briefly? Save me reading it. Chained trees. Posts only extend the tubes where there are no trees. That is exactly what I figured it was, except I also thought that maybe the posts can be used to join like three into one.
proper maple tree farm going on. You want to try and get rid of the pine trees? Yes and no. I don't want to cut the pine trees down because they're very, very limited on the map. And they are quite valuable. The most valuable tree you can sell. So actually what I want to do is keep growing them. But not grow them here. I need to grow them somewhere else. But I need the saplings from them. And when you take a sapling from it, you have to leave it for quite a while before you can take another one. So the only ones I'm really chopping down. You see how that's growing? Because I planted that before I knew about all this. The only ones I'm chopping down really are those. Because they're kind of cheap, nasty stuff and they've got no other purpose yet. Whereas maple and pine are very valuable. Thanks, game. Thanks for just throwing things randomly out the back of the truck. Much appreciated. Thank you for that. Lovely. Really helpful. Uh, Piper driver, have a good one. Thank you, D22. I did. It was nice to just... Uh, just get away from everything for a bit. David C, thank you for 62 months. Feels like forever. Plant the rest of these. So, Rod Wolf, thank you for 73 months. I did indeed miss it. I apologise. Thank you. this work? You have to actually have the generator running to even collect anything. These are the things I don't know, yet know.
is in it. Right, let's try connecting something. Yeah, so how does this work? This is what I was trying to work out about the whole junctioning of things. So how can I connect one to here and that to there along with that? Because if you connect that to here and then like that to here, then you can no longer connect those trees to here. So you've got to have like a one single chain, which is not how it works. I've seen them do it. They don't do that. They have it like a tree structure. It comes together, joins, and then goes in. They don't have a serial system. Do you reckon a post would look... Hang on, let's try a post. Maybe that's what the post can get around. We have like a post here. There you go, you see the post has got three on it. That's more like it. How do you get rid of that? There we go. So now you can have that going into here. Yeah, the post of the junction boxes, that's better. So now you can do that. Energy bar is getting low. Warning, energy bar low. Yeah, you see, I can't join that to there. I have to join that one back here now. jump in bed otherwise bad things will happen Better save this. Eight AM. Hey, see how you doing? Thank you for 45 months. This from Mrs. KC Household. <laughs>
Or to get the potato, you have to grow. Oh, what did it get originally? On the way into town, there's a little stall. You stop there and they sell potatoes, potato seeds. And then you have to grow it. Why do people have fond memories of Windows XP? You're right, Wyland. I think I did receive something. You're quite right. Um, yeah, something did come in the post after Christmas. I, I had a card. I had a card and a parcel. Hang on. Is that from you then, Wyland? text Mrs. Squirrel. She knows where it is, I think. Yeah, I remember it being in January sometime, Whiteland, when it came, and I was like, what the heck? See, how does it... Can you pick this generator up, then? Or do I have to turn it on here, and it powers that over there? That's so weird. Compi serve. I remember Compi serve. Two percent. Nice. Someone said something about a furnace to power the shack. A furnace? Since when did you have to look at your seat to get out of the car? if these pipes are clickable. The sugar shack runs a generator. just I don't know because I've got all these things and I'm just using them up however I've now forgotten where I put the box of stuff one of ten tubing roll doesn't like that is that because it crosses over, maybe? Maybe I should do it that way. Say that, or because it's too long. Don't know which. Let's try that. Hmm. It must be a too long for what's left. Right, Whiteland. I've got it. Mr. Squirrel's brought it in. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. Well, first of all, I've got a card. I've no idea from. Does anybody recognize that sticker? On the back of the card? Like a penguin or something? 
This came at the same time as the parcel. Obviously not from you, Whiteland, but in other words, the P.O. Box people decided they wasn't going to deliver anything for Christmas. So this is from... <laughs> it's from... Uh, what's his name? Khan. This is one of my cards, which are my fundraisers for my school. To Squirrel, Mrs. Squirrel and family and the pets, I wish you a happy Christmas. Hope you're all keeping well and safe from Khan in Ireland. There you go. I don't know if you're watching, Khan, but thank you very much, dude. I know it's not at Christmas. It's quite a few weeks late, but appreciate you sending it. Thank you so much. And then, is it from Amazon, Wyland? So it was from Amazon. That's what we got. Does that look about right, Whiteland? Let's see what the uh, the tag says. It says, Mr. Squirrel from Whiteland. <laughs> That's what it says. Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> no, Doyle. It says, Mr. Squirrel, not Mr. Doyle. Go away. <laughs> Honestly, that, that dog. Every Royal time you Thaler open some major delays on some post at the moment, as people are receiving Christmas cards that was sent back in November. Every time you open anything in my house now, Doyle thinks it's for him. It's honestly like literally, I've sat there with boxes, opening up switches, and he's like, "Is this for me? <laughs> Is that network cable for me?" <laughs> Nightmare, Doyle. You can have that. There you go. You can have the you can have the bag. What? Magnetic levitating lamp 3D printing. What? Seven colours. Well, you can't see the green one. That that's that one down there is green, by the way. Magnetic levitating lamp 3D printing. It says, bring 3D printing and levitation control technology to your daily life. <laughs> what? 3D printing, magnetic levitating, touch control, wireless charging. Wyland, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo what this is. Is it a lamp with spots? I don't know. Why does it say 3D printing? Right, we've got a ball. Oh, girl's interested. <laughs> His ears are pricked up. <laughs> it's got a ball which is weighted in one side. It's like a celestial globe. It's not for the doggos. He thinks everything's for him, look. He's just sniffing it. He's like... Right. Well, there's the uh, power pack. I'm going to try this white one. Don't go. Why does it say magnetic levitating lamp 3D printing? Go and take him out now. <laughs> go on, off you go. Go on, off you go.
All right, that's just about long enough. Yeah, I think it should have said 3D printed. I, I think there's a there's a bit of Chinglish going on here. I think that should have said 3D printed, not 3D printing. That means something else. All right. We'll plug that in. And then... Jeez! Flipping it, you see that? My God! There's some powerful magnet in there. Right, how do we turn it on? I saw it lights up for a second. <laughs> All right, learn. How does it work? Not that I've read the manual, but you know, hang on. Let's use a guide. Here we go. Introduction. The magnetic levitating moon lamp is a very cool and unique decoration for your home office. Uh, illustration adapter. Levitating levitation magnet. Touch control switch. Magnetic levitation base. Yeah, we got that. How to levitate your moon lamp. Put the moon lamp a wooden base on a horizontal table. Plug the AC adapter into the outlet. Insert the other end into the DC receptacle. Start from a height of about six inches above the base. Carefully lower the moon with both hands directly over the center, keeping it lower until you feel magnetic force. Okay, that's where we went wrong. There we go. So you feel magnetic force. Well, there you go. When you first levitate the moon, it would usually stick to the side of the base by the magnet. Then try again, hold up the moon and lower it gently. Release your hands when you feel the balance of the gravity of the moon. I'm trying. You can't see this, I'm trying. What do you mean, turn it? Well, you're going to get um, the same thing because you wouldn't be. I don't think you understand. It is genuinely tricky. I've got it. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. You can't see it, but I've done it. Release your hands when you feel the gravity of the moon is balanced. Finally, press the power sign. Done it. Hang on, I've done it. I'll show you. I can't really move it because uh, it's carefully balanced. I'm going to take a little video and show you. Hang on. There we go. Oh, you'll see it. You don't need to do that. Right, you're ready, Whiteland. That's what it looks like. Look. <laughs> I have never seen anything like it. That's so cool, Whiteland. Look at that. I mean, that looks wicked. It's just sat here, it's amazing. Honestly, I swear this thing's got perpetual motion. It's just sat here turning. It goes through some really nice colors. Hang on. There you go. I've done another video. Look 
There you go. That's what it looks like on my desk. That bit was green. It look when it goes that purplish color, it looks amazing. That is that is really cool one. Thank you so much, dude. I need to find somewhere really nice for that because it looks incredible. I do like it. It's really, really cool. Really cool. It's just sat here spinning. It's brilliant. I know, I honestly never seen anything like that. It's so cool. Thank you, Wyatt. And can we get some GGs in chat for one for a wicked present? That is brill. Awesome. I'm going to set that up later. You see them in little. They're wicked. I think the, the, the description on the box is really confusing. Like 3D printing and stuff. You're like, what? You did good this year. You did Wyland. That, that is genuinely a cool present. How could you not love something like that? 